Look at that, bud. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Look at you go hey, here. Oh, yeah, it's alive, Oh, baby. Mr. Mozzarella over Mr. here. Mr. Mozzarella. All right, don't get excited. Hey, guys, saying it's alive. We're here <laughs> in my beautiful backyard with my beautiful friend, Cody, Cody Reese. Hey, everybody. Uh, cheese connoisseur, cheese magician. Cheese mutation, I have no idea. <laughs> And he's gonna be helping me and showing me, and we're gonna be learning together how to make a little bit of a mozzarella. fresh mozzarella cheese. Yeah. yeah. Let's get started. Let's get it going. Mmm. What's up? Welcome back to Cheesin' with Cheesers. Oh, hey everybody. Thanks for joining Thank me, you. man. Hey, so happy to be here. And we're going to be doing, we're going to be having a nice little experiment together of uh, making some mozzarella cheese. Yay, can't wait, yeah. dude. Thanks for having me. Cody, I know you've dabbled with it, you know, a bit. Yeah, I've done some dibble dabbling. I've made ricotta, I've made some fresh cheeses at home. Pot cheese? Pot cheese, farmer's cheese, stuff like that. Mozzarella's like a little bit more complicated. I know. We so, a, yeah, I picked a hard one. So I've actually, never made mozzarella. Yeah, I think like a lot of people haven't. And I also like, I feel like a lot of people don't really know what cheese is in general. No, like when you think- well, What is <laughs> cheese, Cody? I'm so glad you asked, Bradley. But now, cheese is milk that's been fermented and coagulated. Coagulated being with the proteins. Basically, yeah, there's like knotted up casein proteins and the thing you add kind of like denatures them mm -hmm. and they untangle and then they lock together and they kind of gel into like a little pudding kind of. Like a wiggly kind of pudding. <laughs> science, man. It's, yeah. it's incredible. No, um, it's crazy. And I just want to say I'm not a scientist, so none of this. I am. Don't yeah. worry about it. So uh, I got that covered. Oh, by the way, I learned this technique from this amazing book that if you're interested in natural cheese, it's called The Art of Natural Cheese Making by David Asher. This technique comes from that book. It's very rad. Very cool book. Very, very groovy. Um, All right, cool. So let's warm up some milk. Let me yeah, let's warm up some milk. We got this at uh, just a, a good spot in Connecticut here. This is unhomogenized. Nice color, huh? Yeah, it's some beautiful Jersey milk here. Now, sometimes when you buy unhomogenized milk, mm. there'll be a fat layer. Whoa. And you kind of have to like shake it up. That's delicious. Oh yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I'm very sweet. Well, it's like the height of summer, dude. So these, these just like raising on sweet corn. On Happy. <laughs> on corn, yeah. Grass is what I meant, I'm sorry. All right, so let's turn this bad boy on. All right, let's get him on. I do not know how to use those things. Go so. on, I'll turn the spaceship oh, on. Hello. We want the equivalent of like medium high heat. So I'm gonna put this in just in case. We're bringing 90 it up degrees to like Fahrenheit. 90, you know, I usually end up around 93, but between 90 and 95. You're flirting on the danger zone, Yeah, no? I like getting up there a little bit. This whole process is basically trying to emulate what happens inside of a baby animal. Go on. Baby calf drinks milk, right? right? It's super stoked. From the udder. From the udder. Gobble, 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 gobble. Oh, it geez. goes through its, uh, it goes through all its stomachs. It lands in the fourth stomach. The stomach acid acidifies the milk, but then there's a, an enzyme in a baby animal's fourth stomach. It's marketed as rennet. Uh, rennet it has right. a bunch of like enzymes in it. That chemical coagulates the milk to make it easier to process. And then the stomach is like smooshing it around, Making basically like cutting it into curds, basically. Wow. So we're basically emulating that process. Instead of stomach acids, you might use citric acid, you might use like laboratory bacteria. Or even lemon people, which is citric acid. Yeah, you can use yeah, vinegar, et cetera. Like you're basically trying to bring the milk to a certain acidity, wherein, which I've never said out loud before, uh, it'll stretch. <laughs> you looked like a professor when you said it. I know. Where I've, in? I know, I felt like a professor. That's good, man. So this is actually getting close. We want to stop at like 93. Should I dial it down? You can dial it down. We'll, we'll slowly get up there. Yeah, so yeah, let's put it down. The way that we are going to acidify this milk is by adding kefir. Now, basically... Can I open it? Yes, absolutely. So, kefir greens are basically like a little scoby. I don't know, I forget what scoby stands for. It's Symbiotic sick, community of cool. bacteria and yeast. Yeah, exactly. Whereas kombucha uses a scoby to turn, you know, sugary tea into kombucha, this is a similar process where these kefir grains are eating the sugars in milk, lactose, right. and they're converting it into lactic acid. Right. So Cody, like you were saying, we'll let this sit for about an hour. Right. Uh, Maybe take a little bike we'll ride. Take a little bike ride. Lunch time. The jury found you guilty. The judge set you free. Another crazy All right, so Cody, we had our hour break. Now, how can we tell that the that the kefir, the kefir is working? Uh, well, you can't really, but 
I mean, if you look at the milk, it's still very much milk. Right. But you will know beforehand that your kefir is active because it will be thickening the milk that you're feeding That's, it. Exactly. Um, so but, that was our indicator. Exactly. And now it's just scaling up, and it's getting to it's getting comfortable. It's, it's spreading. Mingling. It's mingling. Yes, 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 yes. So we're gonna bring it back up like a couple more degrees, and then we're yep. gonna add the rennet. Now, the which is that enzyme from the from the stomach, the that natural stomach. process, the yes. fourth stomach of the cow. One tablet like this will coagulate a gallon of milk, which is what we have here. So I'm just gonna plop it in here. Plunk. And what's that, water? This is water. You just gotta crush it up. Yeah. All right. Completely dissolved. Yes, completely dissolved. Okay, so yeah. do you wanna do this? Yeah, let me help you, Okay, dude. so just basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir in a figure eight pattern. And then we're just gonna drop this rennet in. Now this rennet's gonna probably work pretty quick, so we're done. Scoop that out of here. And let it set. Yeah, and now you wanna still the milk or else it'll it'll set while it's swirling and it'll give you like kind of a frosting kind gotcha. of vibe, break you know? the, So break the current. The crazy thing about this, you guys are like, this episode sucks so far, who's this guy? But the thing is, we're gonna come back and this whole thing is gonna be full of milk jello that wiggles and is cuttable. If and nothing that, else, that'll be home run. Yeah, that'll be home run derby. All right, let's uh, give it. A, I say let's give it. A, let's give it an hour. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. go an hour fifteen. Let it chill. And we're gonna do a nice little tour of uh, my man Cody's van because it's special. Whoa! Hey, don't make them like this anymore, bud. Smells like maple syrup in here. This thing is hot. Candy booze. Mm. That's right. All right, there we go. It's alive with Cody and Brad. On the road. On the road. That's right. That, that's that's synced up. Here's your phone. Yeah, I was leaving, so I had to come back. <laughs> hey, I think I might have left something in there. Yeah. Should we take a look at it? Yeah, open up. Right, I'm excited. Ready? Like come Christmas. on, get him on in here, bro. Kev, nice oh, whoa, 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 wait for Kev. All right, ready, Kev? Whoa, yogurty looking. This is definitely done. You can tell just by looking that it's expelled away and it's, it's firm. But what you do is called a clean break. My hands are very clean. You dunk in your finger at a 45, and then you lift your finger straight up and Whoa, see that. Oh, look at that, you get run. So basically. So what's the move here? You always see him do like. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna cut it into a, a chessboard. So let me show you one, and All then you can do a million. Course, course. And you can do it fast, right? You go. Whoop. All right, cool. So now you're gonna do the other way. I'm gonna so, start in the middle. Okay, checkerboard it. Gorgeous. Love that. This is very satisfying. To really me. satisfying. Now there's one more cut we're gonna do. We're gonna come in at an angle like this. Cut them like right in the middle. So, oh, I just stabbed it right in the gut. Then you're twisted around there. Give it another slice that way. And that should probably be good. The curd is strong enough that you could probably just start futzing with it now. Wow, See? nice. Yeah. Bigly wiggly. So, I go down like this Whoa. and then stir. Super soft fingers. Yeah. Like you'll, if you feel them breaking, mm -hmm. you're going too hard, you know? Gotcha. If you see them breaking. Well, maybe I should stop. It's okay. Basically, this is the starting of stirring the curds, which you do to expel more whey. The whey is not going to end up in the cheese, so you're just kind of like condensing the cheese into like pure cheese matter. So this is now a hunt for the big boys. You're basically looking for the for like the the big old guys that you like cut Didn't improperly. Cut. Yeah. So like if you look at this now, ooh, it's milk jello. Ooh, See? big boy. Oh yeah, this is a nice big boy. Oh yeah, big boy. Yeah, oh, there, big boy. Oh yeah, big boy. Ooh, big boy. I like them like that. Well, you want them to be the, the similar size, so they all like ferment at the same rate. You oh, know, okay, and gotcha. the same texture. If you hold onto it and like squish it a little and like let it just fall, boom. Beautiful. Cut it down to size. So now we're just gonna stir for anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes. Oh, oh wow. And, and they'll firm as we go? Yes, because they're they're losing more whey. You basically want them to, to be the texture of like an over medium poached egg when they're done. Like right now, this is like very much over easy. But yeah, let them go, let them hang. They're gonna chill and they're gonna be like. Five minutes, we'll stir them again? Five minutes, stir them again. All right, look, they're looking cheese curdy. Yeah. Looking they're... real Wisconsin y. Yeah. This looks like the yolk inside is just gonna pour out. Right. But you want it to like kind of like be a little bit springy. All right, so now we just, now we wait. It's a waiting in. Yeah. No one said cheese is quick. Nobody said that. I mean, this one looks pretty good. Check this one out. Yeah, nice. You know? So these are pretty much set up. We got them at the spot we want them. Yep, love you them. Know? Yep. And uh, so what's, what's the next move? Uh, now you just let them ferment. Uh, you For just, a couple hours. Yep, 
Uh, probably several hours. Right. And I feel like there's probably a much easier way to be able to do this as well. Yes. The non-fermentation way where we're uh -huh. just going to use lemon juice, citric acid to acidify, to, to, to acidify it and have it just happen a lot faster, totally, a lot quicker. Totally, totally. And uh, it's just a little bit, it's an easier way. It's just a different approach to it. Yeah. And uh, I figured we could uh, we'd just bang them out since we're here on this, totally. on this beautiful day. And we got a little bit of time, you know, downtime while it's fermenting. Now, the important thing uh, for this, because we're adding lemon juice right to milk, is the milk needs to be cold, all right? Cold oh, milk. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's a huge tip there. Huge then. tip. Oh, wow, so what's cool. the ratio here? Well, it's a gallon of milk for a half a cup of lemon juice diluted in two cups of water. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Nice, great pour, lovely. Great job. I'm gonna stir pretty briskly. And I'm gonna add slow, slow, gentle, slow, like slow, emulsification. Slow, slow. Exactly. Oh, We're basically trying to acidify it without curdling it. And now what we're gonna do is very is slowly warm it up. This thing. Hello. Hi. This milk is now as acidic as we would want the milk to be for the, the kefir gotcha. thing. So when we add rennet to this, it will turn into what we had after like an hour, hour 15, in probably 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Honestly, you know, if I was gonna make mozzarella at home. You probably, <laughs> <laughs> probably This whole time this. you had an easier <laughs> way. <laughs> That's good. So let's do some cuts, can yeah. I? Yes, please. Yes, dude. Cool, and then remember the 45 degree angle, you wanna come in, you wanna get like halfway down this. Mm. You know, the curd is pretty solid. Yeah. Like remember, we weren't able to stir like this when we first did the other one. It's a lot more forgiving, you know? Yeah. Like these curds, yeah, we're tossing Nothing around. wrong with that. Yeah, no, not at all. We could have wrapped like seven hours ago. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But. <laughs> all right, let him hang for a minute. Let it relax. Now let it relax. Uh huh. All right, so code. All right, this took a little bit longer than we thought. I think maybe next time I'd add more lemon juice, but they're pretty good. So I think we should just strain them off. Let me do it. Okay. Beautiful, fine, beautiful. Now we're gonna let this uh, kind of knit. Strain. Yeah, strain, it's gonna all knit together. So we'll come back to this soon and hopefully we'll have a nice little uh, firm loaf. Firmloaf.com. Find my resume and headshot there. All right. Now it's formed into a little puck. Yeah, a nice little little mass. Kind of bind it all together a bit, yeah. right? Why don't we give this one a melt test? Let's see what it looks like, yeah. This melt test, this is an indicator of that you're locked into that right pH level. That, yep. that 5.2, 5.4, exactly. allowing those proteins to kind of stretch and then mm -hmm. get nice and, and stringy. And, exactly. And mozzarella. -y. And look, you can see this one is... Well, you can tell it's, it's melty, got a little, it's yeah. Melty, yeah. Look at that, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that, well, bud. There it goes. Look at you go <laughs> here. Hey, oh, yeah. That's, that's a, a fing melt, you guys. Look how happy he is, though. Yeah. It's just like someone took an elephant yeah. off his back. I didn't think it was going to work out, and then it worked out. Everybody, you guys can't see the crew, but everybody's like, yes, Cody. Yeah, look, the kids are stoked. The kids are like, wait, Cody did it. He's our new dad. How many mozzarella balls are we going to make? Four? Ooh, that cut nicely. Yeah. Okay, so I'll stretch one and you salt it and okay. I'll roll it. I'm good at that. Cool, beautiful. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our water here. So let that core temperature get up there, let it get pliable. It's exactly. probably hot as it's heavens. Hot as, hot as hell, yeah. This is definitely there. It's like very soft. I like this. Yeah, beautiful. You don't wanna work it too much, but I think this is probably ready to roll. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold it over itself. So basically the end move here is you're rolling, you're tucking it all under itself. And then once you get the final one over it, you pull this guy around it. You can maybe give it a dunk if it's not feeling super workable. And then nice little ball. But like, Look at that though, huh? Come on, It's a little mozzarella ball. Did you get some good salt on there? Yeah, bless it, bless it, gorgeous. Get some water Mm-hmm. Look at her. Look at her. Hey dude, that ain't bad. Let me tell it's you soft. what, it's buddy. Soft. Yeah, that's good. All right, chef. Hey, right in the water. Uh-huh. You probably need to get a little bit more hot water. It's not really? hot enough, yeah. Here, hit me with some salt. Good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That looks great, dude. That's awesome. We did it. Here, Chef. Give me that. Yeah. Oh my God, are you kidding me? All right, Why not? I baked a little bit of bread. Let's hit it, dude. A little recipe from the book I got going on. Oh yeah, I can't so awesome. Wait. We'll make just a little, little quick little appetizer bites. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, this really worked out. I'm really that happy with, with it. Yeah. a little mortadella, a little Ooh, bread that I made. A little bougie bologna, I see. Yeah, Hello. a little bougie bougie bologna. Welcome. Let's try it uh, al fresco, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, it's soft. It's beautiful. Look at the texture on it. Mm. 
It's definitely lemony. Mmm. Tastes like milk and lemon. This one it's really dank. Dude, it's the really, milk is good. It's really dank. Yeah, I'm dipping Come some. Come on, we earned milk. this today, uh, but yeah, yeah. we made this. This is awesome. From milk. I know. It started as a like two half gallons of milk. Mmm, a little sandwich with the mortadella. It was amazing. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing with the one that the fermented cheese. Same thing. We're just waiting for that pH to get to a spot where right. we can allow it to, mm -hmm. to string out. And so it'll be, you know, sometimes this takes eight hours, sometimes it takes 11. It right. depends on how active your starter Every time is. is a little different. Mm -hmm. It's a live thing. We'll finish that up, we'll make a little cheese. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow. Yeah. And, but overall, man, I think this is an awesome success, It was man. a huge success. I yeah. think you nailed it, man. I think Thank so you. Yeah, my yeah. hands are covered in mortadella, but. I would want <laughs> it no other way. No other At way. At this point? Absolutely. All right, so. We had that last batch of the curd, all right? That curdy Cody had set up with me last night, the fermentation one where we used the kefir grains. And you know, late last night, it got to the pH that we wanted. We had a little sleepover and he helped me form some new mozzarella. He's out here, we had some coffee this morning and I think he fell back to sleep in his van just taking a little nap. I did nothing wrong. All right, so good, you got a little cup of coffee, bud. Weird pairing, but. <laughs> So yeah, man, so this looks great. This is our cheese last night from the fermented kefir. I think it turned out good. Yeah. I, like the, I like this little dude, that's my favorite. It's clean. It's very clean and I feel like the, the acidity is like in the background, but it rides for a long time. Nice texture. Mm -hmm. I do not taste that lemon at all. No, well, I mean, there's no it's not lemon. There. <laughs> but I'm yeah. saying like, it, it was certainly present. It's kind of like more more focused on the milk. I kind of like right? it better. Yeah, I think I prefer this one too, but the lemon one I, was also really nice. A hell of a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I found this one to have a little bit of a better texture, a little bit more of that like very nice milky, lactic -y kind of yeah, flavor. Yeah, it's, it's like it's more complex and robust. and like, Cause it's like alive, it's on. fermented. That's right, exactly. Well on that note, man, thanks again for Dude, teaching me. So sweet. We hung around here, mm. all right? And this was awesome, bud. And you come up again, I'll show you how to make the bread and we'll make Hell some cheese yeah. again. Hell yeah, dude. So oh, much fun. Thanks, man. So that. Well, thanks, guys. And again, I hope you guys make some cheese at home. I had a blast. Cody, it was great hanging out. So and uh, yeah, bon appetit. Caca! That was good. Oh, that was good. You guys should try some cheese. Yeah.